four ways the narcissist keeps you locked in. This is how they keep all of your attention on them. This is how they keep you committed to them. One, they target your self-worth and self-esteem. When the narcissist comes around you, they recognize that you are a powerful and dynamic person. They recognize that you are strong and influential. They recognize that you are positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas. They recognize that you are optimistic. They recognize that you are hopeful and confident about the future. That's what attracted them to you. That's why they wanted to be around you. They are drawn to powerful and attractive people. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they are in control. But they don't want you to have power over them. They don't want you to have any influence or authority over them. They want to be the ones that are in control. They want to dominate you. They want to have power and influence over you. Narcissists are predators. They seek to capture and consume you. They seek to ruthlessly exploit you. But they cannot do that if you have power over them. So for them to keep you under their control, they have to break you down. They have to target your self-worth and self-esteem. They have to make you feel like you're not good enough. Which is why whenever you're around a narcissist, you will gradually lose confidence in yourself. You will begin to doubt your qualities and abilities. You will no longer trust yourself. Because they have trained you to be that way. It's how they keep you under their control. It's how they keep you locked in. Two, object of desire. The narcissist keeps you locked in by breaking you down, by making you think you're not as good as you think you are. But they also don't want you to come to the conclusion that you may be better off elsewhere. They want you to think that you're not good enough for anyone or anything. They want you to think that your best hope is to stay with them. And they will also present to you what they believe to be the object of your desire. But they have to make it unattainable. It has to be something that you cannot reach or achieve. And they have to place it 10 steps ahead of you at all times. Because if you were ever to grasp it with your own hands, you would realize that it doesn't even exist. Or that it's not how they portrayed it to be. But this is what they will use to keep you around. And they will use it to motivate you to fulfill their desires and needs. It makes you think that if you dedicate your life to the purpose that they have assigned to you. 
One day you will achieve or obtain what you want. But to make you think that way, they have to trick you into thinking that they do have what you want. When the reality is, if they had what you wanted, they would have given it to you a long time ago because that would have locked you in more than anything else. They can't give you what you want because they don't even have it. All they can do is present an illusion of something desirable to you because that's enough to keep you locked in. That's enough to keep you committed to them. Free. Isolation. They have to isolate you. They have to separate you from other people. They have to make people think negatively of you. And if that doesn't work, they will try to make you think negatively of them. It's divide and conquer. They maintain control over you by encouraging dissent between you and other people, which then prevents you from uniting in opposition. They cause you to remain alone or apart from other people because then they can be your only source of influence. It gives them the ability to brainwash you and keep you under their spell because not only have they targeted your self-worth and self-esteem and made you doubt yourself, but now they've also isolated you from anyone else who could tell you what's right. So now your only source of information is the narcissist. They can tell you whatever they want you to believe. Whatever they think will further lock you under their control. They have to try to make people think that you're dangerous or out of control because that will further isolate you from people who could help you while giving the narcissist more influence and authority over you. Four. Gaslighting. The narcissist has to make you think that you are doing something wrong by trying to escape their control. They have to make you think that you are a danger to people or that you are a danger to yourself. Or they will try to make you think that other people are a danger to you. They have to make you think that your safest option is to stay with them. They have to make you think that is it is the only way that you will be protected and not exposed to danger or risk because that is how they strip you of your freedom and power. That is how they enslave you. That is how they gain influence and authority over you. But they disguise it as though they care about you, as though they have your best interests in mind, when really they're only concerned with their own self-interests. They're only concerned with their own advantage, without any regard for you. This is how the narcissist keeps you locked in. 
they have to target your self-worth and self-esteem they have to make you feel like you're not capable of doing anything on your own that is how they make you dependent on them by making you doubt yourself by making you feel like you're not good enough on your own they will display an object of your desire to you but it will always be out of your reach they want you to think that the only way you will obtain what you want is by complying with them fulfilling their desires and needs when the reality is that they don't even have what you want but they don't want you to leave which is why they will also isolate you they will turn you against other people they will turn other people against you and if you try to escape their control they will make you feel like you're doing something wrong they will make you feel like the world is not safe or that you are a danger or a liability to other people this is how the narcissist keeps you locked in they strip you of your power so that they can have power over you you need to realize your worth the narcissist wants you to think that you're not capable on your own but remember how capable you were before you met them your life may not have been perfect but you were able to deal with it now that you're around the narcissist everything is so unbearable because now you're under their control you no longer trust yourself you can't make your own decisions you need to start trusting yourself again remind yourself of your qualities and abilities remind yourself of your achievements the narcissist has to keep you in lack and deficiency in order to control you but that's in their world when you realize your worth you will develop the strength to leave their world and then you will see just how small their world is there is so much more to life than the narcissist has led you to believe they had to limit and restrict your perception of what you want to keep you under their control but the reality is that this world is abundant this world is plentiful it is the narcissist world that is full of limitations and restrictions it is the narcissist world that is scarce and insufficient for the for the demand they are in short supply
because they lack the capabilities and potential to create an abundant and plentiful world. But they direct the focus onto you. They keep you looking at yourself. They make you think that you need to do everything for them and be what they want you to be. When the truth is that you don't even need them. They need you more than you ever needed them. And they are actually nothing more than a hindrance to you creating the life that you want to live. They're just an obstacle. They are not an asset to you. They are not a useful or valuable person. They are not a benefit or an advantage. They're a liability. Their presence and behavior will only put you at a disadvantage. They're a burden and a nuisance. They will only cause inconvenience and annoyance to you. They will only make your life hell. They're a handicap. They will only hold you back in life. They will only make your progress and success difficult. They will only restrict your ability to function physically, mentally and socially. And that is why it is so important for you to escape their control. Because they are no good for you. They're not going to bring anything useful or valuable to your life. They're only going to prevent you from obtaining what you want. They want you to think that they have what you want. When the reality is that they're the only thing that is stopping you from getting it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachnetnarksurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.